part two um, measurements in a, in, a in a lot that's much or more than our three. three. Right. So you have a 17,000 square foot lot. I believe R2 is 20,000. Is that correct, Mr. Chairman? Min minimum. So you, you, you've got pre existing condition here. Um, let's see here. I'm looking for the, looking for the report here. What they need. In this package here. This package here. She didn't want to check those versus this one. This one. It's here. It's mine. All right, so the variances that are necessary. Front yard, 40.7 is existing, 58, 50 is allowed, 40.7 proposed. Fences and walls, there's no existing uh, proposed, allowed four feet, proposed six feet. Fences and walls, not applicable, 50% see-through, even proposing solid. Yards and courts, open deck, 9.96 is existing, 14 is allowed, you're proposing 16.02. Building coverage, 9.96, 10% allowed, and you're proposing 14.39. Impervious coverage, 15.74, allowed is 20, and you're proposing 29.85. Now, as I mentioned, this was a kind of a weird development when it was put through because it was, they were trying to keep open spaces, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and therefore they kind of uh, cannibalized the uh, zoning laws and made these R2. Well, they, they, it was in the ordinance and they took it out, but so made all these lots not conform. Okay, so why don't you tell us um, a little bit about everything that I've read and that you want and why you want to do what you want to do? Uh, thank you, Chairman, and uh, thank you, uh, Chairman, and the board of members. Uh, of the zoning board. Uh, thank you for allowing me to be here. Uh, the reason for my application is to expand the house for our, our growing family. I have a 13 year old and a 12 year old and a three year old girl, a 12 year old boy and a three year old girl. Uh, we plan to live here for a long time in Presidente. My wife and I love Normandy Village area. Uh, we are the second owners of the house. The house was built in 1967 and we've been living in that house for 10 years now. Uh, the whole house is uh, to be fully renovated, like the electrical, plumbing, drywall, making changes to the floor plan, along with additions mentioned in the application. Uh, second story house addition over the garage gives us a bigger bedroom, bathroom, and space for my son and daughter. As well, as I also work from home, sometimes I don't not have privacy, so I want to build an upstairs office room. Uh, at the so our extension is going to be at the back of the house, like the majority of the extension is also at the back of the house. We'll be extending the house with a two-story addition and a single floor, uh, uh, floor sunroom. Uh, the addition near the uh, sunroom addition near the kitchen. Uh, on the lower floor, our kitchen is small, and this will allow us to get a bigger kitchen with more usable counter space and better pantry and a prayer room, a family room, and a dog room. The addition allows us to create a bedroom and a full bathroom for my mother my in-laws and my guests when they come to our house on the on the first floor. Uh, my mother does live with us. On the second floor, it allows us to make a laundry room, family room, upstairs, a bigger master bedroom uh, with, a, with, a, with a bathroom uh, on the west side of the house. Um, so are, you, are you on a corner? corner? Yeah, it's a corner lot. Yes, What's sir. the side road? Cherbourg uh, and Normandy. Cherbourg. Uh, We'll say Sherbrooke Road, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you tending to live while you do all these renovations? Um, well, we may have to move out. Uh, we're looking for a place to move out temporarily. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, one of the variances is the fence variance, and you can eliminate that simply by going to a four foot high open in the front yard, not the backyard, all that area that that's complies. But to put a six foot high fence along. Uh, Sherbrooke? Yeah, Sherbrooke. Sherbrooke uh, and not, yeah, not by the ordinance. You need to have drop that down to four in a picket fence or any anything that's open. It's got you can see through a little bit. 
four, four foot, four foot height. Four we, foot we, height. and we'll try and work with you. Okay, yeah. there are some alternatives, and one of the alternatives is a five foot high fence. Okay, well. with the top foot of an open design, either yeah, lattice, lattice or bars. So oh. you've got four foot solid, which is going to give you plenty of privacy. Right. The only uh, thing we would ask at that point is that you put some vegetation outside yeah. the, outside the fence. You know, it doesn't have to be anything exotic. I mean, you could go for tall stuff, but I'm sure you've got deer in your neighborhood. So yeah. if you put up uh, our Raviti, you're just going to be making salad for them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I wanted but, to. But just some low, you know, maybe some azaleas that bloom, you know, some low, low pines, just to just to take the sting out of that four foot solid. Sure. That's okay. Yes. Anybody have any questions is about a, the is fence? Is a five foot with the lattice mm -hmm. okay? Uh, four five foot uh, with the, the one top foot, foot of it is the lattice. Is, is the lattice. lattice. Okay. So it's four, four plus one. Four plus one. Okay. Four plus one. Right. Yes. So all right. That's okay. That's okay. Yes. All right. That's uh, the only reason why I want solid, but I also have a dog, and uh, with, uh, so I just want to make that way it gives him a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. He doesn't stick it or dig or something. <laughs> so, that, that's yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um. The, co the coverage in under our ordinance, so you're aware, of the, by the board, includes the water in the pool, uh -huh. which makes the coverage figure quite a bit larger than. Yeah, the pool. The pool is not a. It's not a um, impervious surface in the, the true the true definition of impervious. It's almost it, like a retention it, it works like a retention basin. So you're not going to have a lot of extra runoff from the pool. And if you took that amount of square feet into consideration, and I don't can't do a calculator that fast real quick, but I'm sure that would bring bring your requests down significantly. Mr. Eliza has a memo though. Um, yeah, we're, yeah, I want to get to that, okay. uh, Dave. But right, well, first of all, does there any anybody have any problems with the way he wants to do the house? No. You know, just remembering that we're dealing with R2 zoning, and he really only has a, a little bit extra over well, over a third of the two front yards. And he also has two front yards, which <laughs> compounds our life. All right, so let's now talk about Mr. Liz's letter. Okay. Engineer's report. Oh, I never received anything from engineers. You didn't get this letter? No. <laughs> Can you? He mailed it to you. Oh, Here, maybe about to my wife. Uh, she went to India. Here, you, yeah, you want to take one of these? Now, I apologize. <coughs> they tell me that they mail these out. Oh, here, you can have mine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let let let's just do a little background on this now. Our township engineers have become very um, cognizant of the amount of residential additions that are being built and, and expansions of of you know pervious coverage. So. What he has been doing for most applications now is requesting that the uh, any runoff from the house is dealt with. Okay. And you can you know you can deal if you look at his memo. I'm sorry you just got it right now, but um, in paragraph two it says all underground roof leader pipes will be discharging to a sewage pit seepage pit. Sewage. Shall be constructed using perforated pipe and placed in stone bed in accordance with township engineering details, unless otherwise directed by the township engineer. And they say no grading information has been provided based on our observations. The, proper, the property is not level as a result. At least a minor so soil moving, moving oh, geez, well, soil moving permit is required for the full grading. So. Um, you, you. I, I assume you have a builder. Yes, I have okay. a contractor. Yes, and I, I you, believe he talked to the civil engineer, but I don't know the outcome of that discussion. And okay. I think you may have talked with the. You, you may. You may need yeah. an, an, a, a civil engineer. Civil yeah. engineer. Right? Yeah. That's the. Uh, you have an architect. For doing yeah, that? I have an architect. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. make sure that he's aware of the stuff, and any approval that we grant tonight okay. will be. Uh, subject yeah. to your your uh, because I, I I do have problems like uh, with the water because I get water from other other people's houses into mine and my water that's all it. our water comes I get like a river sometimes on heavy rain. <laughs> well, this day. this will be a good so opportunity then to the time try and uh, mitigate some of yeah, that extra of that water and yes, to your that was your, my uh, plan at the um, the landscape. Yeah. yeah. The other thing and and this is kind of informal, the vegetation along the fence. You can always tr talk to our township forester. Sure. And he can give us give you uh, recommendations on um, um, 
you know what what's good you know uh, what'll last was not doesn't require a lot of water etc etc okay. what else we got on this application guys I just have a couple things uh, so you haven't seen this letter at all no. so you have no concerns at all about water runoff from your property to your neighbor's property at all I, I well, when I built the shed I think the, there was a little bit of water problem, but I just want to resolve everything at one time. So that is something that so I was you're going to plan to, to take care of anyway. And that's what yes. the engineer's yeah. report is yeah. requesting you do. Like yes. Anyway. Yes. Number two, the, the yes. patio that you're proposing yes. uh, around the pool, uh, what kind of material is that going to be? Is that going to be, is that is that fully impervious coverage or is that the pavers? Pavers, pavers, pavers I think it's in, yeah, pavers. Fully, they, they are going to be pavers, pavers so yeah. water can go yeah. between them. Okay. And they're, they're not going to be a tongue and groove where they connect. They're just going to be individual blocks. Individual and blocks. And that then will allow for seepage in the in the yes. good point. Yes, sir. I'll let the bike well, contractor know. Okay. And last but not least, the size of the pool then. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to figure the math here. I have a. So, what, what are the dimensions of your pool going to be? Um, I mean, right now we propose, I think, that's 16 by 40. It says it's 640 square feet. Yeah, right. 16 by 40. Yeah, 16 by 40. 4% of the lot. Yeah, okay. I know. It's going to take them down a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I want to bring something up that, in defense of this applicant, if you, uh, in looking at the neighborhood and particularly the adjacent property, there's a significant amount of impervious coverage that he's already dealing with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Good point. And you know that that needs to be discussed. He's the one who's saying I'm getting run off from my neighbor. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so, and I can see why. Yeah, if you go to the neighborhood. He's agreed to sit down with the town engineer to figure out a way to spoil it. Right. But there's it's, well, it's almost a parking lot with, uh, at the adjacent uh, adjacent the property. Used to the old days. Mm. Just get yeah. the street. Well, they, you know it's. Again, and I thought about putting before like uh, drainage, uh, drainage systems, and all that. But then I said, let's just wait until this gets completed yeah, no, first. You, yeah. but you, yeah. you, you've got to do it in conjunction yeah. with this. Yeah. Okay. And in the addition, are you going to have another kitchen, and other bathrooms? No, well, just that the one kitchen. Just uh, yeah. Make it bigger. So, there's okay. only one kitchen. Okay. But it's a little bit bigger right now. We only have like a kitchen, maybe about the size of this table. <laughs> so we don't have a lot of space. House, houses that were built then did yeah. not have big kitchens. No. That's why my house, my house yeah. was built in '71, and yeah. uh, you know, yeah. you manage because we had to, at the time with me, my son, and my wife. But now we have a daughter, and my mother is all staying with us, so it's, we need a little bit bigger house. Any other questions by the board? No, no. At this point, are there any members of the public that have a question of this applicant? Questions, please come up and ask them questions. You got to come up and identify yourself. Please give me your. Isn't there more than one microphone? Not tonight. I oh. apologize. Give, give us your no, name and address. I'm just going to ask when with the. Ma'am, your you name and address. You have to identify yourself. Oh, okay. I'm Kathleen Ambert, and I'm at 38 DeVille Drive in Parsippany. And I just want to know when would this start and uh, how long would this take if this is approved or whatever. Yeah, okay. so uh, based on my contract. Yeah, use the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. Pull it out. No. <laughs> He's got to share. Sorry. Um, once we get the permit, uh, the other the construction permits, uh, maybe start in June. But he thinks he can finish everything in within six months at the most. At least the outside part, maybe within the first two three months after uh, discussion, and then the inside part can be done any time. <laughs> but maybe by December, I'm thinking maybe. So June to December. Yeah, June to December. But I, if I once I talk to my contractor, you say you live in 38 Duo, I can probably um, <laughs> give you a better idea of what the construction plan. Maybe I'll send a, another letter to all the neighbors again, at least the closer neighbors around my property, of uh, what what's going to happen. Um, the normal, uh, uh, the, whatever the legal hours are, <laughs> at least, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other members of the public have any questions of this witness? Questions? I hear none and see none. Um, there's nothing else you'd like to add, is there? Uh, no, sir. No. Are there any members of the public who wish to speak in opposition to this application, in support of this application? I hear none and see none. Someone like to make a recommendation? I don't think we know we need to go into conference. Do we? Sure, I can do it. Uh, he's uh, certainly making marked improvements to the property. He's uh, compromised on the fence issue, so that's no longer an issue. And he's going to address the water uh, potential issues there. 
Um, so I will be voting in favor of this. Somebody frame a resolution? Sure. I will. An application 2254, Cedar and Siva Parvati, Ready, 21 Normandy Drive, Block 754, Lot 2, Zone R2, that we grant a C variance to construct a two story addition, one story sunroom addition, one story front roof porch, second story addition, open deck with stairs, in ground swimming pool, uh, patio, and six foot, uh, excuse me, that would be a five foot high, well, five foot high. Spence in the front, four and one lattice, and then in the back, we're le allowing him to do the six, six correct? Yes. If you six want solid. to, yeah, yeah. And in the back, a uh, six foot high solid fence, contrary to sections 430 35, columns 4, 10, and 13, section 430 11, A, B, and section 430 10. Um, subject to the engineer. subject, yeah, subject to the engineer's engineer. consultation. And Did you mention about the uh, vegetation on the outside and the vegetation on the outside of the fence for the front portion of uh, uh, the right. fence that aligns the front portion of the property second Joskowitz any discussion Nora call the roll Berkowitz yes Joskowitz yes Kaplan yes Reddy yes Snyder yes Willen yes Hurricane yes results of variances are granted we'll memorialize this next meeting yes, sir. next meeting and then you're free to go ahead and wish permits okay Sure, thank Good you. Good luck. Sir. Enjoy. Boy, you got a big project. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah thank you. I did a I did a 700 square foot addition to my house a number of years ago, and I thought my wife and I were going to kill each other because it was it, living with it was just. And he's so, got his mother-in-law too. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, application 2260, Dharma Kumar Shah, 165 Everett Road. C variants to legalize a patio and two sheds. Sir, come up. Sir, could you raise your right hand? Do you swear from the testimony you're about to give before the board is true, self you got? And for the record, you're Mr. Shaw? Yes. Yeah. And you're the owner of the subject property? You can have a seat. Please speak into the microphone. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the witness is sworn. Okay, so you got some sheds in the. Sheds in a. Probably um, already there. And a patio. Did you put these in? No, it they, was there. They were there when you bought the house. Yeah. When did you buy the house? Uh, 2020. 2020? Mm -hmm. Does it appear like the sheds have been there a long time? Yeah, it was just there. The shed was. And um, are they in good shape or is there something that's going to be? Taken down. Sorry. Are they in good shape? Yeah. All right. Um, you want to keep them there. Yeah. And um. How do you? Well, I just want to. Be... Is the one shed right on the property line? No. No. What's that zero side yard accessory? Uh, it's two or three feet away maybe, from the, maybe the patio? fence. I think it's patio, Chairman. Patios? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's look. The one patio where the shed is is right on the property line. Yeah. Nice. <coughs> one's a concrete pad, one's a patio. Paver patio and a concrete patio. Paver patio is right on the property line. And did you put those patios in? The concrete patio I did. You did that? Yeah. What was there before? How did you get here? Sorry? How did you get here? Why did what do you did you make application sometime or other? No, I don't know that and that was well, so, some reason somebody gave you a, a violation. John the, my neighbor there, there, there's a note here that the applicant stated that the patio has been removed that it extended four point seven feet over the property line. So there was a dispute with the property uh, up, uh yeah, the and neighbor. I, I took the his uh, like uh, I take it off his properties. But doesn't one say it's still there? On the leases memo? On the memo it says it was just broken and stopped and removed. Yeah. Has it actually been removed or you just broke it up? No, I ju just broke it and then leave it because I don't know what next I have to do. That's why I'm waiting. Did you get a new survey as requested? Yeah, that's the new survey. Just, did, was it the concrete or the pavers that you broke up? 
I did the concrete. The concrete. And is he that what you put in? in that mm -hmm. over there. That's what you put in? Yeah. So you put it in, you got noticed that it was it was over the line or on the line, and you broke it up yourself, yeah. but you didn't remove it yet? In, no. Oh, it's not so you made it for line. what? Sure. Yeah, like what well, the decision. Concrete can be disposed of at the recycling center, I believe. Somebody well, what decision are you waiting for? Uh, I don't know. The 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 township told me leave it right now and like what you want to hiring go to the hearing or what? So so yeah, I have to go here. I don't see any. What did, so your, that's neighbor, why what did your neighbor well, say? No, concrete. he didn't Probably. talk with me. He just come here and say he come to the my property. You know, my but his oh, friends serious. looks like a. M right. The pool looks my side, so I thought it's my property. So you just did it visually by yourself because you didn't the use a contractor? Yeah. No. How did you decide where to oh, put the wolf? It was a neighbor's line. Who did that? He just, he just went over to the guy's fence. The fence happened to be set back. Right. Oh, okay. There's a misunderstanding. Yeah. Well, it's. When you bought this property, did you get a survey when you bought it? No. <coughs> There's two surveys here. Yep. Which? No, just the one survey. No, I've got differences. One says size. I did just the one, one survey. One says proposed, one says existing. Is this the, the new survey that Mr. Lizza requested you get? When I bought that, that time I didn't did the survey. Now two surveys Just are one, is, one is proposed and one is existing. This is right. The same. Yeah. It's the same survey, but I, you know, when you see that it says you should get a new survey, I don't know if we're making decisions on a survey that's not totally accurate. They're both dated. June they're both dated 62222, so they're relatively they're relatively new. Relatively mm -hmm. new. But yeah. the the memo is dated October 7th. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's the setback on the sheds? Are your neighbors having issues with water to you, that you know of? Sorry? Are your neighbors having any issues with water coming from your property? No, 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 no. You spoke to them? No. You, did, you have not spoken to your neighbors about this? No. How does he know? Well, I, right. I, 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 uh, Mr. Joskowitz, I think the one neighbor uh, where his patio exceeded uh, four foot onto his property, yeah. there was an issue because he had to remove that. Right. But is that because he went up to the The fence? survey we're looking at doesn't show that, and they're the same survey. That's what I'm confused by here. So. Yeah, let me, let me see. You bought this house. When he it had two sheds on it, correct? The one shed that it, it had a, it had pavers around it. Yeah. Okay. And the other was a con you put in a concrete. There was no pa there was no patio back there. Uh, by the no. Shed? I'm the, no. What just was the, back there? There's just a shed standing out in the field by itself. Yeah. So you put a concrete patio to that shed. Yes. Okay. That's not is that the concrete that went over your neighbor's property line? Yeah, the behind the uh, stairs. 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 Shed, shed, shed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that I broke already. Okay. And then the paver stones on the other shed area, they they were there when you moved in, right? Yeah, they They've were. Been there for years. Right. Yeah. Okay. And they're not they're not going over your neighbor's property line. No. Okay. So it was the rear part of the yard where you paved over it into your neighbor's. Property. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, right here. This is the area that um, area over here. exceeded all the mm -hmm. neighbors because it's not on the uh, proposal. Yeah. It's not here. So you didn't you didn't get any permits, you didn't get anybody with well, recommendation, you yard. paid this part in. Right, and, that, and that's why you're here now. That's why your neighbor. Yeah, paper is paper was already there. I just read the concrete. I, I understand the paper. I'm saying talking about the concrete. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you paved the concrete further back than the paver 
patio. You went further. That's when you went into the neighbor's property. Yeah, that's fair. Sure. Yeah. We yeah, concrete. The fence didn't the did, didn't did. I mean, it shows a survey here that there was a fence there. Did you knock that down? Fence after three feet. In uh, the he left. To th there is any space between the fence and your concrete patch? Oh yeah. Home? So yeah. How many feet? <laughs> That's the this goes neighbor's to, property, not my property. Yeah. This this goes to I think. Mr. Lisa's question about the new survey and what was brought up by Mr. Kaplan. We've got a survey dated June 22. <laughs> His letter is dated October, and the June 22 doesn't show the concrete that he broke up. Um, look at look at the look at, look at the existing. The existing above the, the second shed, there's a little jog out there. You yeah. see that? Yep. That and that concrete. is not on the proposed. Not the correct. I, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yes. That is. That's that, what we're talking you want about. To, everybody see that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you got to look at the thing. For, but that's the what three, you broke out. Like, right where's Waldo? You know, yeah. Yeah. That's what you broke out. That's what you broke out. That's the part he broke out. Because if you see the fence and the property line, and now he's in. now he will be in conformance with so if he removes the concrete, is that the end of that issue? Well, he still needs a variance for the uh, okay. concrete patio. Okay. Can he go right nope. up to the property line with the concrete? Yeah. Mm. That's what he's requesting. That's what he's requesting. Uh, okay, so the don't have a set, the patios don't have a setback requirement. They don't? It's only a deck. They, huh? they have a setback requirement. Huh? They have a setback requirement, patios. That is not on the ground, right? Huh? Six feet side, uh, ten feet rear. Yeah, they're saying it's six feet, Jim. Yeah. yeah. All right. Accessory side yard, because that back is really the side yard. Yep. And do you understand? You saw this letter from the the engineer. Did no, you get? I didn't. You didn't get this letter. No. They keep telling me they are mailing them out on that one. You need to look at this because he is saying there's going to be work needed for water issues. That you're going to have to do some drainage things, and you need to know this application. If it was approved, it probably it wouldn't get approved without. No, it's not. A, it's the engineer who's telling us this. So, so just please into the microphone Can you so you're picked up on the record. The engineer in in uh, in his letter on the third line it says stormwater management measures are required for this property. You must mitigate. For the additional impervious coverage created by the patio. Okay? And by the said, so it's with seepage pits and a stormwater manager. So you'd have to get an engineer, they'd have to and then a contractor to put in what is required. And that's not up to your neighbor, that's the town telling you this. Have you ever met the uh, engineering department? Anybody? Uh, mm. Did they visit your site? Yeah, the Rob uh, Rob I think Rob come over there for the that, but not the. Okay, so here's the deal. You 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 put in a concrete patio on your own without any specs, without a contractor, without approval, without a permit, and we can't approve that. Okay, within these variances requested. You, you understand that? The way it's now written. Okay. So what do you what do you want to, what do you want, want to propose doing? Here? You want to tear up part of it? Get in compliance? Did you did you tear up part of this already? Yeah. Sorry. The part that, yeah, the part that was over the, the, was on the, 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 the memo says the section of curbing that is depicted to be over the property line is still fully intact. Okay. Yeah. So his original testimony, if you remember, all he said he did is maybe like not it. He hasn't removed it. But that's the, the that prior that line fully says intact. that part is also yeah. there. The curb is still on the other guy's property. Yep. The section of the patio stated that was removed was not removed, but rather broken up into large pieces. Furthermore, the section of the curving that is depicted to be over the property line is still fully intact, which makes me think that part wasn't broken up. Mm-hmm. And or removed. Well, and it certainly wasn't removed. I mean, nothing was removed. Yeah. But I'm not sure what was broken up. Just the, the concrete the here. This, this well, the, did you do that after this in. memo? When did you break that up? When? Yeah. Is the way the inspects inspector come over there and look at and tell me that this is the his property line. When? So after like that, what date? 
A long right. day. What month? What day? When? I go and do yeah, so the sound doesn't it sound like the inspector rock. came to his house, told him it's whatever. When so, he was there, it was so the then cat. he broke it up. Then and he then broke the it up. Was written. Correct. Then was this like uh, six months ago, two one. months ago, or a year ago? When when was that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember exactly. Like, you don't remember when you broke the concrete? Uh, maybe three, four months ago. Okay, just say three, yeah, four months. Three, four months. Ago. Not well, like five no, years. No, yeah, like exact date I don't no, know. No, no, not date. date. Okay, just asking whether how much you can yeah, give. Yeah. So, how did you know that you have to break only this portion? Why not the whole concrete? No, because his property line. Oh, the the un- neighbor's un- property line work where I did. So there. now the concrete is exactly on your property line? Yes. Yeah. No, but that the pieces, are, the still pieces are still there. Are you willing to remove the whole concrete? Yeah. Yeah. How about we get some photos mm-hmm. of the property and yeah. see where I, we are? I, I, I mean, we had a point here where it was absent, absent, absent a engineering water? plan for um, to deal with the water runoff. We, we're, we're not going any place tonight without no. help, right? And pictures would be nice. And pictures, yeah, really definitely. That, pictures. Is, that would be good. So this is uh, this is kind of our suggestion. You have to hire an engineer to create a um, plan to deal with the runoff. Okay, and you should go ahead and remove that piece of concrete so it's not an issue anymore. All right, and. Um, once you've come back with the engineer's report on how you're going to deal with the water, then we'll be in a position to look at this again. With pictures. How about yes. the block curb? Why don't we get rid of that, too? I, I don't understand the purpose. Did you put in this block curb along the back line? That's on, still on the other guy's property. That's right. I, I understand that. Yeah, Why not knock that, that down? Well, who's put that curb in? Him knock or it or out. Did you put the curb in, the block curb, at the back of your property there? Yeah. The knock it out. You put that in? Yeah. Okay. All right. On the other, on your neighbor's property. Yeah. Yeah, the end of the my property actually. Right, but the part that's on his property, you're going to get rid of. Oh, okay, that part. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't know that. Sure. He's he wasn't going to do that, right? No, you have I'm to, waiting. Just knock like, it out. Uh, that, you right. just you have to restore to your neighbor's out. property to the way it was before. Yeah. Okay, that's and then you have to deal with the with the with the water, and you can either go to the township engineer. He's not going to do anything for you. He's going to maybe give you a point in the right direction. Otherwise, find yourself an engineer who can deal with the top topography and water runoff, et cetera, et cetera. How much time do you need to do this? What's the next date, Nora? Uh, I can carry him to March 22nd. I don't know if that's enough time for him. That's... That's, That's a little over time. two months. Can you get this done in a little over two months? It's not the work. You just need to get the professionals yeah, professional. to give you a plan. Remind you don't have the pictures, co- right? Yeah, we and come back with pictures of what this looks like. A, B. I would recommend that right any now. any of the board that can get over there and look at the property. Yeah. You know, a picture is worth a thousand words, but the being there is very important because you'll get a one. you'll you know as you step into the soggy grass you <laughs> anyway so you need to go get your professionals come up with a plan come back to us with all that information and pictures for us to make a decision on whether we're going to grant you any variance that you might need yeah but in the meantime he could use this time to knock out the curb uh-huh. yes. and straighten it out back there yep get that done Just the battle what before and after pictures then. Restore it back to where it was, where your neighbor's property is the way it was. So like did, the, did the um, member asked for before and after pictures so you can show the board what it looks like now and then the work that you did. Then we would need extensions. Then we need we need actual pictures, prints. Yep. A motion to carry this case to March twenty second. So we'll without Second further signing. notice, you you're going to have to. Gr- Anything you put in without a permit, on your own. Yeah. Don't okay. show. Don't show us we that. Don't, we don't need to. Don't show us that okay. phone because we'll take oh. it from you if you. We're not going to prove what us. you put in without a permit. Okay. Get the real pictures before and after. Right. Not on a phone. You're going to have to. You're going to have to sign papers that grant us as an extension on this application to March 31st. Also, you'll agree to do that. No. Yes. 
Just please say yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, the motion has been made by. Mr. Davies, second by me. Mr. Mr. Uh, whoever's over there. Yeah, we're good. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Are any members of the public here for this application? Nobody? None of your neighbors are here, huh? Okay. If I was your neighbor, I'd be here. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you on March 22nd. And don't forget, you have to sign papers for Nora. I don't know if she has it right now or. I don't have them right now. I'll, uh, we'll talk or, or I'll email you. Okay, let's, just, since we're on a roll now. Email them to you and you send it back. Let's go over there. Yeah, I'm just, I want to save everything from this application. I don't want to mess this shit up. Who's anxious to go? <laughs> okay. Uh, application 2261, Divya Patel, 190 Lakeshore Drive. C variance to construct a new two single two story single family dwelling and go from there. Sir, so raise your right hand. We swear a firm testimony back to you before the board is true subject got. And for the record, you're Mr. Patel. Yeah, Divya Patel. You're the owner of the subject property. Correct. Uh, to your to your left, my right, you have. Uh, okay, I'm going to swear you in too. Sir, could you raise your right hand? You swear from testimony about to get before the board's true self. You got it. And uh, for the record, can you state and spell your name? Yes. Uh, that's Suleiman. Uh, okay. How do you spell Suleiman? Suleiman. Just speak into the uh, microphone. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. That's S O U L E. Y M A N E. That's Suleiman. Last name. And last name Dembele. D E M B E L E. Okay, and all your licenses are in full force and effect? Yes. And you're going to give testimony, uh, architectural testimony? Correct. And you've been qualified either before this board or some other boards in the state Not of New this Jersey? Board, but, um, other boards in New Jersey? Other boards, yes. Okay, Mr. Chairman, is uh, uh, sworn and qualified as an expert in architect? Okay, so we have a survey, we have an application. Do you have a the thing that says the variances? All right. Come on. Got it. Thank you. Okay, you're looking for um, a lot, a lot with 50 existing, 60 allowed, 50 proposed, plan and design standard zero, driveway setback zero, allowed five, and proposed zero. You ha are in an R4 zone, and looks like looks like you got a big lot. Yeah, it's long. Yeah, 6,700 yeah. square feet plus minus, 66, something like that. Only yeah. All right, so, so uh, lot, lot uh, size is not an issue here. Yeah, the only problem is that the lot is not wide enough. So yeah. the lot width is the problem, but the lot area is actually fine. So it's more than what's required. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the driveway on the property. Correct. Those are the only two variances, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's it. yeah, those are the only variances. And the reason why we ended up in front of the board is because uh, we initially had a permit, construction permit. It's an existing one-story building. We wanted to do a rear addition about 14 foot 6 deep and uh, add a second floor above it. But when we started construction, I had asked the contractor to check the existing foundation before they do the work, and they realized the existing building does not have any foundation at all. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, I have pictures. Yeah. We had piles of like, rocks, which was clearly yeah. I had a garage on North Bedwick Road that was like that. It had no oh. foundation. It's like four pieces of rock at the center. Yeah, was, yeah, I actually had the whole garage jacked up and had the foundation put in, oh. and it made a big, 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 big difference. Yeah. 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 So, uh, and that's the issue, so. So there's really nothing out of the ordinary here. Um, you've got some existing conditions. 60 is allowed, 
and <laughs> you only got a 50 foot, which is very, very common. You're in Lake Parsippany, right? Uh, Lake Hiawatha. Oh, Lake, it doesn't say Lake Hiawatha. <laughs> yeah, it's right okay. on Lake Shore, I think. That's what confusion is. Whereabouts on Lake Shore? Uh, do you know where 7 Eleven the fire station is? Yeah. Uh, a block and a half from there, inside. So you know where that new temple is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lincoln Avenue is here. Okay. And then the house is three houses. To the you're, on, yes. you're on Madison. 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 Between Lincoln and Madison. 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 Okay. Yeah, Madison. Oh, I know Madison. your house. There's a blue house. Of course. A, the big, blue, it looks like a big backyard. Yeah, and yeah. what happened is, uh, <laughs> it I, is. I grew up in person. <laughs> but it's a sad And um, two years ago, this, the lady who owned it previously, I think her mother owned it or something, she passed away. And she wanted to get rid of it. And I, like I said, grew up in person. We spent every summer here. So I'm like, you know what, this might be something interesting to buy. I walked into the house after I bought it. My foot was about to fall through the floor. <laughs> so like, clearly, I can't visit. So started the whole process and then ended up where we are. And, and sitting on it for like six, seven months. To and, and, and what you're going to build is going to fit in with houses in the neighborhood, right? It's going to be... More or less, eventually, people will see it start hopefully developing their homes. But it's not going to be... I mean, we there's a lot of... New construction yeah, in Lake Iowa. Yeah. There's dozens and dozens of new houses. Yeah. Yeah. There's like four houses being constructed yeah. in that area. Right? And, a lot, and a lot of the new houses have been built on 40 by 100 lots. Because yeah. unfortunately, at some point, somebody decided that they'll take a big lot and divide it in two and make yeah. it have a lot of money. And then, you know, here it is 60, 70 years later, we're dealing with them. So, I asked my neighbor if I could buy five pieces of land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they ain't going to They ain't going to What's any, the, any, what do you got, The driveway next, is that next to the driveway next door, or no? Yeah, it's, it's, it's touching. Okay, I, will you describe where you were? Yeah, they're touching. You're kind of bare eyes. Yeah. Do we have an engineer's letter on this one? Yes. Wait, did yeah. you get yeah. this letter? So we're over two tonight, so yeah. Yeah. you got this one. You got this letter. So you yeah. would agree that anything that is proposed by engineering, you will comply. discuss, comply, Yes, I will. I will reach out to the engineer and coordinate uh, whatever needs to be added. Additional information needs to be added for drainage. Yeah. We'll take care of it. Okay. What else we got? Any other questions? No. Just no? concerns over the 500 square feet of new impervious, but <clears throat> if he's willing to um, follow with storm management needs as outlined in the engineer's letter, yeah. I'm all right. I plan to discuss with him first, and then figure out if there's a, a way. Um, because if you take into account that we had an existing building there and we're doing an addition, right, we fall under. But if you consider it as a whole new building, it's a different scenario, then we definitely have to provide uh, the training system. But whatever the engineer at the end of the day, I'm going to reach out to him and whatever he says has to be done and we'll, we'll take care of it. Okay. So we do agree to the conditions. Very good. Okay. Any other questions over here? No. Any members of the public have any questions of this witness on the testimony given this evening? Hear none, see none. You've, you've, you've got everything in that you want in, right? Yes. There's nothing else that you need? Um, that, that's it. Okay. okay. Any members of the public who speak in opposition to this application? I have a question. Um, uh, so they had, uh, should I ask now or after? Go ahead and ask. Okay. So they had to approve the plans and everything. We had permits for it um, for the, and then this whole situation came up, right? Um, what do we? What's the next step here? Do we continue, or do we have to uh, reapply, or what's the step? You'll get a vote. Soon the right. vote is positive. You'll then go to the engineer and get a letter that will go back to North. They'll say you've satisfied your condition, and then you get your permits to move on. And this right. is a new house that you're, so you're going to put That's a foundation. It. So you're going to have to have probably additional drawings. Sounds think, like a new a new application. We, we for already, a new home. You'll have to go back to the zoning department for your permit before you can go back. You know, the mechanics of that is best dealt with Nora and the building department. Because yeah. most of us up here, it's, you know, it could be a foreign language it, to us. It was a trickle, trickle, because initially we had some issues and then we had to revise all the drawings and show the new foundations. It's best to be and done then, after. Let yes, us go. So, yeah. But talk, We're here for the talk, experience tonight. Let's do yeah. that. <laughs> talk, to, talk to Nora and to the yeah. uh, building department and everything, and they'll, they'll hopefully point you in the right direction. So are you members of the public who wish to make an opposition to this application in support of this application? I hear none. See none. Uh, recommendation? Sure. It seems like a good application. They'll go along with the engineering report. They're improving uh, the visuals of a house, and I guess there were some safety issues, so I'll be voting for it. 
frame a resolution, please? Sure. Application 2261 Diva Patel 190 Lakeshore Drive Block 605 Lot 13 Zone R4 that we grant a C variance to construct a new two story single family dwelling contrary to Section 430 35, Column 3, and Section 430 275 X. Uh, Seconded. Subject to the engineer's letter. Yeah, that's what I was going to Subject to the engineer's letter in compliance with his, his concerns. Any discussion? Nora, call the roll. Berkowitz. Yes. Joskowitz. Yes. Kaplan. Yes. Reddy. Yes. Snyder. Yes. Willand. Yep. Hurricane. Yes. Results of variance is granted. The way you will memorialize this at your ne next meeting, and then you'll be free to be proceed with your awesome. paperwork. Is it next week? Is it next week? Or? Two weeks. No, two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks from today. Twenty-fifth. He doesn't have to come back. Do you think you have to come back here? Well, you don't have to come you don't back here. You have to come back thing. here. No, I, I figured. I was just waiting to see what I could. Yeah. Okay. Reach out to you. Thank you. Okay. Application twenty-two sixty-seven. Catherine Paran. Paran. Ten Sparta Avenue. Good evening. Mayor is right hand. You swear a firm testimony you're about to give before the board's true self you got. Yes. And you're the owner of the subject pro uh, property, Catherine Perron. Yes. If you have a seat, uh, please speak mm -hmm. to the uh, microphone, Mr. Chairman. So you look, yes. thank you. C variance to construct a one story addition, one story addition for carport, shed, in ground swimming pool, patio, pool equipment pad, and fence. Okay. Is this another Normandy application? I guess yeah, it is. No, like no, it's not. Why did I think Spartan? Oh, Spartans and Hills of Troy. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. So you got an R three. You're in R three zone. Yeah. And those in yeah, okay, yeah, fifteen thousand square feet, which is conforming. Yep. Um, you're proposing the carport addition to go five point seven one feet uh, off the property line. I guess that is pool equipment pad five point seven one feet. The shed on the side yard five point seven one feet. The building coverage you're proposing 19.6, where 13.32 exists, and 15 is allowed. Impervious coverage 22.83, 30% is allowed, and 41% is what you request. Now, you want a pool also, right? As part yeah. of this deal? Yeah. It's How big is the pool, John? Uh, 16 by 40. 16 by 40? Yes. You're going to have the Olympic uh, <laughs> trials there or what? Well, there's currently five of us, and <laughs> I'm building because my parents are coming to live with us. So okay. there'll be a total of seven. All right, so 640 square feet on a 15,000 square foot lot is about 4%. So if we take the impervious coverage of 41.27, it'll be 37. So we're a little bit closer. Um, are you doing patios? Yes. You're doing paper patios? It's concrete. It's going to be concrete. Okay. Yes. Um, Could it be patios, paper? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we're very flexible. Okay. Yeah. The, well, the reason we're th saying that is because there's a little bit of space between them, and you can get some seepage that doesn't, it's not all runoff. Okay. So that's a help. Um, the width of your property, your, your house is significant width on the property, correct? <laughs> Just about. So by putting the carport on the side, you don't have much more than you're, you're going out about 10 feet on the carport, right? Yes. Which I don't think is, can't go much less than that and get a car in there. <laughs> but you can get a car and you'll never get the doors open. Is this going to be open? Yes. With the roof? Uh, there is a roof. Yeah, but no right. sides. No. no. Sides. Is there any reason you couldn't put the shed in the back of the patio? In the back of the patio. And the equipment pad over by the pool a little bit. Then you eliminate all that variance for that building. Absolutely flexible for that. 
But the but the shed, they're only requesting. Five point seven one is what they're they're requesting, oh, right. and it's only right. six foot, yeah. so that's no big whoop. No, that is, that is no. <laughs> and the, you know the pool. It's, so it's, that I mean, you know, it's, it's really the three tenths of a foot is what? How many inches? Yeah, it's not, <laughs> not much. Okay, so we can deal with that. We can yeah. deal with that. The carport can't. I guess you can't do it any any smaller and have it. Building coverage. With the reason for the carport. Yes. So my, um, I, I, I live with my, my husband and my three adult children and my parents, uh, both my mom and my dad will be moving in with us. Um, God, they're aging. God and bless you. <laughs> it's my honor to take care of them. They're elderly. So I'd like to take, oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so they're going to be moving in with us where I'm adding, um, a bedroom and a small living room for them, a bathroom, and my kitchen is their kitchen, so it, they're part of my household. Um, they currently live in an active adult community, and so I know it's going to be a jarring transition for them, so I want to try to make them as happy and comfortable as possible for them. So trying to, you know, they, they come with a car. So we currently have five people in our house with five cars, and they're um, they're coming with their car, so we're going to need to a lot for extra space for their car. Now, um, are you proposing a widening of the driveway? No, absolutely not. Just a lengthening, so that we currently the, our driveway currently accommodates two side by side, but we're just yeah. lengthening it. But you have a single car garage. That's correct. Yes, and but there's a space to the left. That's correct. Okay, all right. So um, the only two things we're left faced with here, or well, one thing, I, I mean the, um, the impervious coverage. Have you had any issues with water from your neighbors or you to your neighbors? Due to my neighbors, no. And what about your neighbors due to you, as far as you know? No. Is there no letter from no. uh, the engineer on this application? Nope. 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 I guess he doesn't have a problem with it. Either that or he was asleep at the switch. You're the only one that didn't get an engineer's letter. I know. I heard that. And I was like, I didn't look in my class. I didn't get a letter. <laughs> so, but we're, I'm going to say to you that we'll approve this. You're having a contractor or construction company do everything. Absolutely. You're, you're going to have to tell them that they're going to have to deal with the runoff and come up with a plan. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the best thing to do is when he comes up with that plan is run it by the township engineer. Okay. So we don't have issues a year from now when the thing is done and uh, we find out we should have put a drywall in or we should have piped it out to the street or whatever. Okay. Actually my architect, he's a PE and he kind of already uh, thought about that Great. plan. And I believe an engineer already came to our property last last month. So. The engineer did? Yes. That might have been the zoning office. Zone oh, office. okay. Sorry. It's all right. Do. Any other questions by the board? Just one quick one. The, the carport in that, your neighbor, the borders that, they have no problem with the carport being that close property now? I don't think so. You haven't talked to them about it? Though. No. Okay. I have a general, uh, she, she will not be, a, the applicant will not be able to uh, answer it most likely. What, are, what is the typical size of pools in this relative area? Does anybody know that? Well, I, I had, um, at one time there were five pools within spitting distance of my house. Um, the one next door, he had eight kids. He put a 20 by 40 in, mm -hmm. but he had a huge lot, so it was never well, a that's, that's huge what I'm, lot. Right, okay, so yeah. I'm talking yeah. about this area. Wasn't uh, the other pool the same size, 640 yeah. feet? Yeah. The, yeah. I think in the old days they used to make them 16 by 32, but I don't even know if people are still going with, with I, I have no, but uh, getting back to the, the, the neighbor's pool, the, the 20 by 40, when it gets, when the fifth owner's kids grew up, pool got filled in. Right. Where across the street from me is a big piece of property, and that house, that's house is filled in. Another one around the corner is filled in. Right. There's two left, and that's those pools are 50 years old. One of them was one of those freeform pools. You know, I don't I don't know how you even figure out. You know, when a gunite when a gunite pool, I think that's the, the I have right. A gunite. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be an in-ground concrete pool. It's an in-ground um, metal vinyl. No, um, molded fiberglass. Oh, fiberglass! Yeah. Going to drop it in. They're just going to drop it in. 
Okay. And that's a standard 16 by 40. And the 40 length, frankly, I have 40 foot built it, but 32 doesn't do you good for swimming lengths. Stuff yeah. Like that. So my husband 40. and I measured it in the yeah. back, and I was like, are we going to fit here? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. it. That, and that's my point in regards to your area versus our area where we have a little bit more property. Yeah. So that's why I'm yeah. asking if anybody yeah. knew what the typical size in this region is. Yeah. Any other questions by the board? Any members of the public have any questions of this witness on a testimony given this evening? I hear none and see none. There's nothing else you'd like to add, right? Any members of the public who wish to speak in opposition to this application, in support of this application? I hear none and see none. Um, <coughs> somebody. Is it a good application? Yeah, this is a very good application, especially taking care of the elders, parents, and all the staff. So um, I really. Congratulate and good luck, and I'm in favor of this application. Thank you. And resolution. Here to support it, right? Yes. <laughs> sure. Res application. Resolution. Somebody resolution. Yeah. Uh, uh, you want me to do it? Yeah. Go ahead, Scott. Okay. Application 22, colon 67, Catherine Perron, 10 Spartan Avenue, Block 406, Lot 13, Zone R3. Recommend granting a C variance to construct a one-story addition, a one-story addition for carport, shed, in-ground swimming pool, patio. Pool equipment pad and fence contrary to section 430-35, columns 5, 8, 10, 13, section 430-10C with um, adherence to any suggestions uh, from the town engineer. So we'll, have the, we'll have the engineer review the review the plans with the yes. engineer so that it complies. Good? Is that good? Yeah. Yes. Is there yeah. a second? Second, second. Snyder. Yeah. Any discussion? Nora, call the roll. Berkowitz. Yes. Roscowitz. Yes. Kaplan. Yes. Reddy. Yes. Snyder. Yes. Willand. Yes. Hurricane. Yes. Variance is granted, and you. you will receive your papers in two weeks. You can get them, okay. and then you're free to proceed. Perfect. Thank it's you so much. You're only beginning. <laughs> you're only beginning. I know. Thank you. This is, this is just a small hurdle you got. <laughs> <laughs> I know. My husband has to deal with my mother, so. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, you know, I was telling I was telling my wife something about uh, somebody's mother <laughs> living with with these people, and all she did was roll her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck. To you. Uh, Thank you. Good luck. But she is getting her own separate room away. I mean, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. With her own TV. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Last case of the evening. Susan Lay, 270 Everett. C variance to construct the driveway expansion. And we have an engineer's letter. Ma'am, if you could raise your right hand, you swear firm the testimony you're about to give to the board is true self and God. I do. And for the record, you're Susan uh, Lay. Susan Lay. And you're the owner of the uh, subject property. I am. Right. Yes, I am, including my mother. Uh, your mom's not going to give testimony. No. You can have. You're sworn. You can have a seat, and please speak into the microphone, Mr. Chairman, and your witnesses sworn. So you're proposing to widen your driveway, which which has a 7.1 setback right now. Five is allowed, and you're providing providing 1.1. 1 .1. And um, looks like from the you got a 50 by 100 lot. Is that what this is? Is that 60? 60. These uh, great progressive glasses. 60 by 100. See, so a conforming lot. Uh, unfortunately, somebody, when they put the original house up, decided they were going to be, everything was going to go on the right, huh? <laughs> Instead of centering the house on the property, right. we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. So. so, tell us what you want to do. Um, so, we were looking to widen the driveway um, by to the edge of the property, um, which is another six feet. Um, not so much to park cars. We only have two cars. Um, it's more we're going to be lining it with papers, um, more for additional Can you pull the microphone closer to you? Have, closer, you have to please? speak just a touch louder. Please. Okay. So um, widening the driveway, not so much for parking, but for seating area. Uh, we what? took, we're lining it with pavers okay. just so we got extra seating, you know, just for summer seating. If you want to sit out there, is that what you're yeah. saying? To sit okay. out there. Um, like in the old days when people sat on their front porches. Yes. Now everybody so, sits in their backyard. 
<laughs> so we never had a backyard. We we purchased the house back in '86. Uh, we didn't move in until '94. This was the only opportunity we actually had to uh, put any renovation into the exterior of the house. Uh, new neighbors moved in to to our right. Uh, we are, live in a corner lot, and they've made they they've done improvements to the front of their yard, and we thought it would be a good opportunity for us to. Um, do the same, so it makes it a little more aesthetically pleasing. So um, we were doing we yeah. doing a front porch and a back porch, which we had separate permits for, and that was already done. But the driveway was a separate thing. So um, did you talk to your next door neighbor about it? Yes. And how? What was their response? They were fine with it. Is this really a driveway, or is it going to be a kind of like a outdoor no. city? No, like a patio. No, it was it was just going to be a seating area. So it looks like this. I got pictures. Um, right now it's just dirt, and um, you know it had trees and we uh, some green uh, evergreens. The evergreens were so tall, so long, uh, so high, and it was actually drooping down on heavier snowstorms. It was actually drooping down and touching the cars and actually hitting the power line. Mm. So we chopped down the evergreens, but that's how we left it. Um, it's just a, a dirt area between the two properties. And that's so, what you want to put paper stones on. Yeah. And you'll you'll put a little vegetation around it. Um, it up a little bit. You know. Fancy it up a little bit. Well, we have the paper stones. We have an edge. Um, but yeah, yeah it, it'll be. I, you know, it doesn't have to be overkill, but just <laughs> something to. So you're not really going to change the opening. To the drive. The opening of the driveway will you remain the same. Exactly Correct. the way it is. Yep. You saw the engineer's report. <laughs> <laughs> so you're missing making a paper patio from the house to the street. Does Correct. it go all the way to the street? Yeah, it does. Yep. The way they drew it is, but. But no, we're not widening the. the, no. the but you the are going to do it all the way as long Correct. as the driveway. Yes. And you'll comply with the engineer's letter. Um, I don't believe we received an engineer's letter. No, he basically said he doesn't want you opening the. Or cutting the curb. Okay. Which out. We, you just said you're not going. To. Right. Which we will not. You even underlined it. Yeah. And bold. <laughs> it's 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 you're not making a driveway. You're making a paver. There should be no runoff because it's going to go down because it's not connected. Right. The the block is there'll be sand between the paver stones. Right. Um, yes. Okay. It's not a solid pervious cover. It's paper stone, but a water seep through. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Somebody wise. <laughs> Good. Okay. 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 Anything yeah. else? Mm -hmm. That's it. Questions are good here, guys. Yep. Any members of the public have it? I'm going to state for a record that there's a bunch of usual suspects in the uh, in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> you um, have a case you want to bring before us? Uh, I'm going to also say that there is no members of the public here, so I will not ask for in support of or uh, against. And uh, quick five words or less. Is it a good application? Yes. Very good application. Yes. Very good application. That's what I like Thank to hear. You. <laughs> and your Thank you. mom is staying with you? My, yes. My you're taking care of her? Yep. We are taking, I'm taking care of her. She's living, she taking she's care of you or are you taking yep. care of her? We take care of each other, right? <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. This is the only time, yeah. After she retired, this is the only time we... I keep taking my yard. But now, I keep clean and... Very nice. You plant, plant a vegetable garden? Yes. Yeah. Vegetable <laughs> garden. So vegetable yeah. garden? You got vegetable garden. Yep. What do you plant? Um, Tomatoes? 80% is Chinese vegetables. Oh, okay. Mm. Bok choy? Not carrot, not, not, not that. Okay. Long beans, um, winter melon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Last year, last Tomatoes? Tomatoes? It was very good. I bring out to the country. <laughs> and my husband cook it at home. <laughs> That's we'll great. Some, <laughs> if you want. It's very, very small, very small. <laughs> okay. Right. Someone like someone like to go home. Yeah. Give me two and a half feet. Okay. Two and a half feet. Okay. Right. 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 Bring us, bring us a basket of vegetables. Okay. Thank you. okay. <laughs> Application twenty two colon seventy two Susan Lay two seventy Everett Road Block 
222 lot number 1 zone R-4 to issue or grant C variance to construct a driveway expansion contrary to section 430-275-10 and uh, in compliance with the engineering's report. Second, Jasper. Any discussion? Laura, call the roll. Berkowitz. Yes. Jaskowitz. Yes. Kaplan. Yes. Reddy. Yes. Snyder. Yes. Willen. Yes. Ira Yes. yes. Did you get to me? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Laura gave me a copy of the report. If they bother you, let me know. <laughs> Laura gave me a copy of last year's report. Would anybody else like a copy of it? Sure. What? Of last year's report of what we did. Yes. You guys are free to go. Okay, thank, okay. You. thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. You have a good night. And we got called back because we were all done. Oh, my, my, mine was like four months of hell. Oh, God. Oh, okay. We got Did you adjourn or? Uh, yeah, motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay. Did you? Uh, yeah, you uh, did you what do you want to do? Bob, uh, they want better. copies of the report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can get them all copies. Keep in mind yeah. that can you report? can you get him an electronic copy? I, I'm yeah, sure scan I it and email it to everybody. Okay. Something to keep in mind about the report: like a lot of this is your uh, 2021 application, so yeah, it's not yeah. included. In but but the baby is in stable. Okay, in Philadelphia. Yeah. Let's go, guys. He wants a picture. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, tuck in. Tuck in. Here. Thank you for being here, Councilperson. Somebody can. Come on, Nancy. Get a picture. Okay. Good talk. Good chair.